another lovely day in paradise with Marie now going to reorganise ourselves and work out where to go. from 30 years ago and all the birds there's an old sardine can mm. it's a wire and bottles and the lake carries over to the left somewhere over no, there. it's beyond it there it is there. Yeah. Sites including Hope, Burgot Springs, Lake Mark, mm -hmm. um, Lake Harry, in whatever, when Tom Cruise, Perth. This is Clayton Spa, wetlands. $10 a night. That. Turn, <laughs> turn, turn it on again for a sec. Is that where it, at least we can work out? Usually, we can't work out how to turn them on. <laughs> and there's Clayton Station over there. Stock watering point 25k south of the Coopers Coopers Creek, and there's a campsite. There's a 
large dam over here. Well, the stupid cockies don't even use their radios. Cooper somewhere down in there. So that's that when the Cooper went. floods through, the crossing becomes a huge expanse of water up to five kilometres wide and ten metres deep in places. See if we can get set up before the, the sunset on the Cooper. Just had a chat with this big wagon for all done Tasmania. A few months. Five million dollars for a sports stadium at Mount Barker if re-elected. The member for Mayo, Jamie Briggs, was by his side, but the latest Luke Co poll suggesting his traditionally safe Liberal seat may be under threat. A support group for survivors of sex abuse in the Jewish community says. I'm just reading about the. The, the hell of a terrible plains and plains of illusion in Birdsville. And I was going on and on about the, the plains and the floods and the stockmen being drowned in the Cooper. And we heard the howling dingoes out there. They've all gone quiet now. Move around the light, because we're down in the in the bed of the Cooper Creek. Yeah, there's no no water. Yeah, yeah, no water just here, but um, plenty of moisture for um, mozzies. A lot of mozzies everywhere because there's so much. So much dampness around. It's all very it's wet. I've so, never yeah. seen this many. And though. beautifully green, unbelievably green, just gorgeous. Mm. No, not so much flowers. There's the purple thing, the purple spiky things, um, sort of, you know, thorny um, sage. They must be a salvia of some sort, I think, and little flowers. But, um, but not a lot of big stuff. Well, I suppose there's not much out here actually. It's because this is very unusual for it to be this wet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, darling. Well, this has probably cost me a fortune, but it's worth it. This is on the Cooper Creek. Another favourite camp spot. It's next to the memorial. You can see it from here. And up at Malka was a, a missionary that lasted 47 years and then they died and moved on. A copper and mania. And that's Cooper Creek. And it's all marked here as a lake on the iPad. And there's the bypass road. They had very good weather reports they told us actually to speak to um, Birdsville, which were useless yesterday. They had to boot up the computer to find out whether, what the weather was, and then another guy said it was actually raining there yesterday. They had um, a millimetre while we were talking to them. There's an artesian bore at Mungarani. They mark up all the fuel stops and the green camp spots. I took an iPad shot of this for our campsite image when it was six degrees at sunrise. Hello, They're digging it. It's like it's excavating a hollow. Mm. Mm. I wonder what it's 
Big Bird and the Sunny Watching Village or Dad and the up there. I'd be just re refreshing the hollow. It could be. I might check one. Beautiful pancakes on the Cooper. Oh, Green's pancakes did not hang together very well. Oh, they're instant ones, were they? Pardon? Mr. Green, shake it in the container. Yeah. Ones, yeah. Our friends were up at sunrise over there, weren't they? No idea. Yeah. And just up here, I think that's the old pontoon that they used to drag across the John Brennan. That's a memorial. It's marked as a memorial on the GDT maps, etc. There's an old nest from last year up there in the tree above us. One of those untidy stick ones. Looks like Graham's been here before us. We were warned about these itchy ones, full of grubs and ants or something, near Tullabajil on the road from West Wawang. Doesn't get much better than this. Don't drive through this. It's full of little shield shrimps. Another one of something. Yeah, look at this one. He's upside down. But oh, poor little sausage. Oh, yeah. He's quite big. Oh, look at his tail. It's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that must be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Probably going to do a bit of a scoop and they all come in. Quite a number of them. There's some quite good colours on them. Some pepper. Some green pepper. Oh, who eats who? Yeah, these are better ones. These are better burrowing colours. So. Like the little leaders and go and bury them. Yeah, the, yeah, the tadpoles are making all the swirly. Yeah, sometimes the, um, the shrimps will get upside down and they see that like that. Oh, yeah. And they like swimming upside down. And they like that. Yeah. Gills, you can see all the gills. And I wouldn't have thought of looking in a muddy puddle. No, we just caught the movement. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, uh. It's got quite an interesting sort of setup. Uh. Hmm. Oh, back you go. Probably got... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's all. Are they taddies? Yeah. Yeah. They're all dead holes. Yeah. 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 So they are. Yeah, some sort of thing. Yeah, they're all. They're all dog tracks, aren't they? And then last night we heard them. Yeah, they. Oh, there's a. What the heck is that? There's a shrimp. You must want to put a barrier up, don't you? You do. Don't drive through here. They actually look like tablets in the bone and what's that in front of them. I thought they might have to be needed to be fully formed or something. Yeah, I've never heard of tadpoles. No, I haven't either. They're big frogs. Yeah. Water holding frogs. Yeah, amazing. There's one over here making landfall by himself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
hard to breathe. They're muddy. Mm. Oh. Mm. Look, they sort of poke their heads up like they yeah. are getting a bit of yeah, a watch. Well, yeah, well, that one. Well, they probably do, yeah. Anyway, let's find out. I wonder if it's all flies if the birds fly over. I wonder how much they can see. They fly, they're swimming upside down. That's their feet, their feet spiralling around. And they flip over when they get onto shore. Yeah. I think they're feeding when they're upside down they could be feeding. Now, this is a flood plain of Cooper Creek, Cooper's Creek. This is actually a creek that floods up to several metres deep. One guy got lost in the water swimming for ages. A few people have been down here. The punt used to go across here. Nice track. And it sinks, it goes underwater but it's got pontoons. They had to swim for it a couple of times. He swam for hours. Good story written up in the Overland magazine from 1977, which I brought with me. station to a panorama of this it's so green and a stop Negotiating our way down this road works. Last time we went down the middle between two of the greater things, so this time we'll go on the outside. <laughs> Welding gloves to hold a meat pie. We couldn't work out. Oh, oh that must have been someone back there, yeah. 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 Back thought, there. Oh, it must have yeah. been um, their little uh, pie warmer. Oh, you got a pie. I've got warrant. They were all having hot pies. They got a I warmer oh, down so there. So I think we better get off over here on the edge. Where it's smooth.
driving through parkland. I meant to blend this into the video this morning. There we go. 50 years ago today, announced our engagement in the West Australian. Make them slow down for a dip. Big basin. Everybody's got their own oh, slant on it. So the wall between crossing is difficult and there's a chain across the gate and it's 800 mils deep and you have to go up Hobble Corner to get across. Getting a port mug. This is the Tom Cruise movie, which is on at every pub. Well, I reckon it was really tricky getting across Warburton Crossing, 800 mils deep of water, and badly rutted and deep ruts and rough going between the Warburton Crossing and the Birdsville Track. We're just going down past the camping area of, um, near Mungarani, just after we had the biggest steak burger with, with the lot, bigger than the Archer River burgers, and a chat with Phil, Phil of Mungarani. And this is a little wildlife spot. This is a, a swimming hole here. Gross. What's the temperature? I don't know. I went to put my, um, I put my foot in there. It looked like it was solid. And you trod in it. In you up the shoes. Where did you put your foot? Just there. Where ah. now what looks like a hole, but before it looked as though it was solid. Like concrete. Look like concrete, do you? Yeah, well, you'll have to get your long arms on to feel how warm it is. I could wash my feet in it, I think. Pardon? I wash my feet. I don't know. I'll just swing around here. 
Ooh, smell that. That smells, smells just cool. like it's Twilight, like Twilight Co. Co. Yeah. Sand, the sand dune. Sand dune. Look, yeah. a real sand dune. It's a proper, proper sand dune mm. from the Simpson. It's a proper waterhole. Oh look, over here is a nice proper butterfly. Bird. Oh, butterfly. And a lovely big spider. Tiny male. It's an eagle up there. Is a wedgie. There's a water level. Very big spider. Two trucks coming and going. had some nice people who slowed down for our dust and we slowed down for their dust. They had some RAA trouble there. Gotta pass the RAA somewhere south. This is some nice little hilly areas. Just a few couple of K north of Mangarani. people do to the road when they're filming it, showing it on YouTube, sloshing about side to side. This has been churned up by the same cars, I think, all the way from Maree. They're just patching it now. A floodway that nobody should ever see. The lake over there through the window. It's on the GPS here. You want me to open the window? No. I think the horizon's level. It's water on road. Here's one of those flood measuring sticks that nobody would ever actually have to see or should see.
this is where we should have been coming out just about now if the crossing's open Phil from what's his name back there said it's been closed okay. for a while and it's 80 mils deep otherwise you have to go up to the K1 line 105 K is the junction mm. 452 to we're trying to get up to what's the name campsite. 